Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior V. Barrell back again live from his room <laughs> uh, with uh, the brand new AMD FX 8 core processor, the first ever in a desktop 8 core. And uh, I'm going to be comparing it to my uh, Phenom uh, X6, the 6 core. Now, these are both fantastic CPUs, uh, and I'm going to tell you, you know, break it down a little bit for you. And uh, let me just uh, tell you that uh, the FX chip comes with the uh, with like a tin, uh, yeah, tin can more, <laughs> tin box. And uh, I'm gonna be unboxing it for you. Just uh, just I want to let you know exactly what is uh, the thing that's pretty weird about it, which I really liked actually, is the fact that it has a tin box. Now I'm gonna tell you what I like about this chip and what I don't like about this chip, and I'm gonna compare them both. Okay, so I'll see you when I unbox it. Take it. Bye. Sorry guys, here I am. I'm back again. <laughs> uh, so this is the FX uh, series, the X. Uh, uh, sorry, the Phenom uh, Six uh, X Six <laughs> uh, Six Core, and this is the Eight Core. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. I would say if you are a multitasker, period, like you do a ton of crap on your computer, this is definitely the chip to go. Okay, definitely the chip to go. I have an i5 and an i7, and I got to tell you, I put them side by side. Out of the box, I know a lot of people are going to say, uh, you know, out of the box, uh, the i5 or i7, blah, 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 blows this away. That's bull crap. I put them side by side. There is no way that it blows it away for anything. It's like that Intel versus AMD war. I have them both, so I'm not a fanboy. I like them both. You know, I'm a fanboy of both of them. But I got to tell you, if you're looking for one thread applications, then yeah. Okay, the Intel uh, doesn't blow it away, but it beats it by, I would say, uh, by a couple of points, uh, whatever. But, um, you know, most of the time, I mean, what I do is when I put things in a stress test, I don't just run games because that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard when people are telling me, oh, I put an Intel chip and it runs games very well. It's not the chip that runs it, people. It's the GPU. If you invest your money in a good graphics card, that's what runs the games well, okay? I have ran games on this. I mean, it really has a little to do with this because most of the time, it doesn't matter how many cores you got because video games only use anywhere from two to four cores at most, and I think they're just up to two, to be honest with you. Uh, but they might go to four. They're not even up to the six yet, so there's no point to judge it on video games. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So I would say, uh, you know, this is what I do when I do a test. I put it through a stress test where I put Maya, for those of you who don't know what Maya is, or 3D Max. That's a 3D program that you do special effects with. You do, uh, well, you know, with plugins. But uh, you do uh, 3D art and all that good stuff. So what I do is I render out complete scenes on Maya and 3D Max at the same time. Plus, on top of that, I put After Effects on in which I color graded uh, some footage and rendered that out. Then I went to Sony Vegas and I rendered uh, entire, uh, what is it, uh, about a 30 minute, uh, little, uh, 15, sorry, 15 minutes short uh, movie. So everything is going on at the same time while I'm opening up three YouTube videos. Okay, I didn't want to go more than three, I don't know why, but whatever. Three YouTube videos at the same time, just to give it a hell of a try. Uh, and, uh, what do you call it, uh, just browse the net. And, and here, uh, sorry, and here uh, on Winamp, I know a lot of you are making fun of me now, Winamp is an old technology, I, I don't care, I love it. Uh, hearing mp3s so while I'm doing all of that at the same time this one handles it so good it doesn't even hiccup once when I used my Intel i5 and i7 I've had the famous Basad blue screen of death uh, a lot of the times that's what would happen. Uh, another thing that would happen that I hated, uh, it would hiccup a shit ton on the, on, the pen, on the Intel processors. Intel people overheat like crazy. AMD is much a much cooler chip. And now I'm going to tell you why it's really good to have a cooler chip. Okay, now cooler chips means you can overclock the living daisies out of it, okay? And you're going to be able to still maintain stability. Where in the Intels, if you do that, you're gonna you'll be able to fry an egg, okay? This one right here, okay, I on a regular stock fan, which we're gonna get to this piece of crap in a second, but I'm just telling you, on a regular stock fan, without a, a problem, I went to 4.2, okay? With my water cooler that I'm gonna be inter, uh, you know, reviewing soon, I'm gonna be uh, telling you, I I went up to five on stable, so I mean. Guys, this is the chip to go over Intel, hands down, if you're multitasking, okay? But now, in terms of price, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, 
it's much better to go with an AMD processor. Why? Uh, some of you are going to say, oh, you know, well, you know, the AMD and Pentiums are the same at price, give or take $100. That's not true, guys, okay? If you want to use SLI on an Intel, you got to get a motherboard for it. That motherboard for Crossfire SLI is going to run you a hell of a lot more. It's going to cost you about, for a system of AMD versus Intel, anywhere from five to $600 more. I might be wrong. But it is going to be uh, significantly more, that's for sure. That I'm 100% sure of, okay? I have an i5 and an i7, and I love them dearly. I mean, I love the way they operate. They're very good. I, I run them on water coolers. I don't run them on the Zalman, which we're going to review uh, later. I run them on water coolers because they're very, they get very, very hot. So that's not something you really want to do, people. So AMD is the way to go, no matter what anybody tells you. And if they talk to you about video games, I swear, guys, please don't listen to that crap. It's like that Nikon versus Canon crap. It doesn't make any sense. They're the same piece of crap. Okay, guys? They're the same thing. If I had an Intel board, I would get Intel chips. If I had an AMD board, I would get AMD. If I would start all over, I would get an AMD. Because of one reason, not just because it's cheap, because you're getting more bang for your buck. You can overclock eight cores on this thing, people. If you're a multitasker, I would say go with this chip, the FX series. Okay, this is the, uh, the, the, the brand new FX, you know, what I was telling you about. The uh, Zambazi, I don't know how the heck they pronounce that word. Uh, but basically, that's what it is. And it operates really, really well under a lot of stress. Now, for those who don't multitask and do mostly gaming or, or whatever, even though this has, not, again, please don't judge it based on games because that's just stupid. You don't judge a CPU uh, based on games. But I'm just going to say, if you guys are looking more at a gaming unit, uh, you're looking for single thread applications, uh, you know, programs that don't use a lot, you don't multitask much, you don't do movies. I do a ton of movies, uh, you know, all the time. I do uh, pilots, TV pilots, and stuff like that. I need this chip right here, okay? And if I'm not using this, I would use the 6 core by AMD Phenom 6. Okay, but again, people, if you're not doing that, don't invest your money and spend money on something that you don't need. For instance, by the time any uh, program out there fully utilizes eight cores, you're going to need a new motherboard and a new CPU anyway. So don't, uh, nothing is future proof. So guys, get that out of your head. Save some money. If you want a gaming machine, invest in a X4 or an i5 or i7 whatever the heck you guys want to do but you know invest in those things invest in an intel and then the rest of the money invest in a good gpu and a good graphics card and that'll you know that'll make your game system really really awesome but uh... you know i use it for games i use it for uh... movies i use it for a lot of things and i gotta tell you my all-around card got to be the fx amd fx uh... only for one reason the fact that you can overclock it to five gigahertz on every core Okay, people. I mean, that. Think about that. How is does that benefit you? And we're gonna go over that in the recap. In the recap, but uh, now those two. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the FX chip is, of course, it includes the same exact heatsink that was included with the Phenom series and the AMD 64 series. It hasn't changed much uh, since. Okay, so you know. Anyway, as a rule of thumb, you shouldn't be you know using stock coolers anyway they're crap I don't care what company they're from they're garbage uh, but uh, you know so that the difference between the x6 and that would be just in pure it's just about what you really want I would say invest in an x4 this is from my other PC so I mean I like the x6 because again I'm a multitasker so uh, if you guys are not a multi multitaskers you don't care go for an x4 go for an x2 but I'd say x4 is better Go for an X4 and see what it gives you, you know, and invest the rest of your money in a graphics card, okay? And that's, you'll get the best bang for your buck. But now, all this crap about Intel versus AMD, I am so sick of it, people. It's very, very simple. This thing won the Guinness Book of, in the Guinness Book of World Records. You can actually fry this mofo to up to 8 point something gigahertz on uh, using liquid nitrogen. On an, uh, on an Intel, if you use liquid nitrogen, it will not go to that. That's why this one, this can, this is a much cooler chip. 
Now, and uh, you know, I'm not going to say which one I like better because I love them all the same and they're each for a different use. It's like lenses on a camera. You use a 35 when you need it. You use a 135 when you need it. These are all different tools that depends on what you need. You use these based on what you need. If you are a multitasker, you take this one over Intel 100%. If you are a, of a single thread user or whatever and want to spend the extra money, go the Intel way. Or go into the X4, X6 edition of the Phenom by AMD. So guys, uh, next thing we're going to review uh, is the cooler. Uh, Zalman and my water cooler by uh, was it Corsair, the H100. See you there.